Um, so I know that when you started on the show, like you were just pitched, you know, maybe a passing by character yeah. for a couple of episodes. It was just for the pilot, actually. Right. Yeah. So after a pilot is shot, then it has to get picked up, and yes. there's the whole process. So after that, did you know you get contacted, and they're like, "We want to bring you back." I. Pete was on set when I shot my first scene for the pilot and right immediately uh, in the van back to the hotel because we shot it in Philly. Um, he was like, I like what you did. I'm going to look to bring you back. <laughs> did you have any idea this was in store? No, no. And I don't think, you know, it's been such a whirlwind because it all happened kind of so. I was also doing a show on Broadway when I shot the, the pilot. And so I was just out of grad school, so it's going to take a while for everything to settle settle down and for me to actually, you know, understand what's happened these past six years. It, it's <laughs> happened extremely quickly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, and I'm super grateful, uh, but the, the way it's resonated throughout the world uh, is going to be, you know, I'm going to be understanding the scope of it for many, many years, I think. Like, thank you, Netflix, right? Yeah, 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 because, I mean, I go on vacation... Uh, I've gone to Paris and to Prague and all of those places people stop me all over the all the time and just are saying how m much of a fan they are of the show. Yeah. Well, I, I was telling your counterpart over here that you know you guys truly uh, were some of the first people on network television to have some real sex scenes that yeah. were, you know, like man on man like anything LGBTQ truly and it really shook things up so what was that like for you was it very exciting for you to get that opportunity were you nervous at all uh, no I wasn't nervous because I was just focused on doing the, the work when we shot them after when it was about to be released yes because I had never been a part of something that was ex being exposed to millions and millions of people mm -hmm. um, so I had also started thinking about how grateful I was to you know, shows like Modern Family, um, Brothers and Sisters, and uh, Will and Grace, who represented us in a way, even if it was a limited way, that uh, that they, they paved the way for acceptance. And then now our show then came in and showed that we could have full sex lives, that we are three-dimensional people, that we're not just here for jokes, that we're, that we're uh, you know, three-dimensional people so yeah well, speaking of that sex life it is expanding in, yeah. <laughs> in this season um, it's always interesting the thruple situation uh -huh. um, how are your feelings on playing <laughs> something like that and are we gonna see it continue through the rest of the season uh, well I think that things are so they're going to be trying to figure out how to stay out of jail mainly mm -hmm. and how to keep their relationship together while they're staying out of jail that uh, I think the threesomes are going to be maybe limited for for now because <laughs> they've got a lot on their hands but maybe not who knows yeah what is your favorite thing about your relationship on the show and maybe some comments DMs that you've gotten that it's really inspired people my favorite thing about the relationship is that is it has inspired people to come out in their personal lives uh, I've gotten so many messages from people all over the world that said that because they've seen themselves on screen they were able to talk to their family and friends about who they really are and feel like they don't have to hide anymore yeah. that's by far been the biggest takeaway from this whole experience. Because I mean, your guys' love story is one of the only ones that, I mean, there's a couple that are left, but uh, it's one of the strongest, right? I'd say it is definitely the strongest in the show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, to, and for that to be, for a, a relationship that's based in the LGBTQ community to be the strongest relationship in any show is so rare. It's usually a side story or, you know, uh, a, a one episode deal, uh, but we are the, the longest relationship in the entire show. And I think that that's amazing. That That's why people have been inspired to come out in their own lives because they've been able to see themselves. Well, aside from the LGBTQ part, because you guys have been such a strong relationship throughout the show, are you both nervous about a Romeo Juliet, like some kind of tragedy, you know, towards the end? Because that would really tear the audience apart, truly. Yeah, I mean, well, the show is called How to Get Away with Murder, so the, you know that there's going to be, uh, somebody's gonna die, maybe multiple people. So, uh, you know, I. 
it's a, it's tragic, but it's always it's always tragic when when something like that happens, and it it, it is the it. It's kind of a, a hard thing to navigate when you know you want to give representation to a, a, a gay relationship, but you also want to keep suspense in the story and not just, you know, artificially protect this gay relationship just because it's a gay relationship. You want it to be able to to follow the the integrity of the storyline. So you'll just have to watch and see. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Of course. It was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. you.